Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, some of you who have updated to macOS Catalina and use Audacity probably found that recording anything doesn't work. You can see it's just completely blank. Uh, sometimes you're lucky if the app even opens, which is not great. Um, there is a quick fix that you can do to sort it out. Hopefully there will be a permanent fix, but this works for the meantime. So what you do, you close Audacity, ignore that. Um, if you go to their website, there's a thing, a little, there's an article about it not being supported in Catalina. You need this terminal command. So this assumes you've installed Audacity in your normal applications folder. You copy that, open terminal, paste it in, enter. It loads Audacity and when it does, it should ask for permission to use your microphone the first time you use it. Okay, so it's not asked for permission for me because I've already done it before, but usually just a little thing pops up saying there. Um, and you can see now that, yep, it's recording the audio. Uh, I can play it back. Um, and you can see now that, yep, it's recording the audio. Um, so yeah, so that works great. So it can be a little bit annoying that every time you want to use Audacity, you have to open Terminal. So what I've done, and you can as well, if you close all this, if you open Automator, you can go new document, choose application, and then type script, go run shell script, double click that, change that to bin slash bash, paste in the terminal command. You can run it just to make sure it works. So you can see it's open terminal and it's open to Audacity. You can test it again. You can see, yep, it's working, it's fine. Like that. And then what you can do, you can go File, Save. Let's put it on your desktop for now. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it Audacity Catalina. And you can see now I've got this little automator app on my desktop. What you can do as well, you can change the icon so that it looks like Audacity. So I click right click, Get Info. And then if we go to our Applications folder, open it in Finder, find the actual Audacity, go Show Package Contents. Contents, look for resources. This is the one you want, audacity.icons. Just drag it over to the app you made. There you go. Now drag that over into your applications folder. And then once it refreshes, there you go. You've got another app there called Audacity Catalina. I also then like to keep in my dock because I use Audacity a lot. And then you can see, you can now click it from the dock, it automatically loads terminal, automatically loads that script, and it opens Audacity. And there you go, it's all working nicely there. Hopefully they will introduce a proper fix for Catalina soon, but in the meantime, this is not a bad workaround. Thanks guys.